The fact that smoke is a combustible fuel that significantly affects the fire development in a closed compartment has been known by many firefighters for four decades. However, in many parts of the world, fire behavior is treated as something rather unpredictable. You must know that smoke is a fuel and it can be ignited. The danger is when you have to go inside a closed compartment for a rescue operation, you have to open it up and then you let in air. And air is just what the uh, mixture is waiting for to be able to ignite. For example, in 2007, we lost 18 people, 18 firefighters in the United States because of fire behavior related events. Unfortunately, it's taking quite a bit of effort to get people to recognize that there are answers, not just one, but, but several answers to this particular problem, that these fatalities are entirely preventable. There's been firemen trapped in a situation where a rather handleable fire suddenly turns into something else and surprises them and traps them. A flashover can change the whole scenery, cut off retreats and so forth in a fraction of a second. In the small European country of Sweden, back in the early 70s, two young firefighters named Krista Gieselson and Master Sander discovered the basic physics of the combustibility of fire gases using lab tests and field tests in burning buildings. Now I've been open here. So there's no bag here now. Now we're going to go to the light and fine. Now we're going to go to the light. Open the door. Yeah, next! One more! One more! Yeah, that's good! Thank you for that! Now we're going to go to the light and fine. Precis så går det till. I first met Christer Gieselsson as a student at the National Swedish Fire Academy. And he started laying out these theories about flashovers, when they occur and how you can predict them. I have been a fireman then both in Malmö and in Los Angeles County and Jacksonville, Florida. I could grasp what he was saying and I could see that, yeah, he's right, this crazy guy, he's right. He's got something there. And I could uh, relate it to uh, things that had happened to me while fighting fires. In this car we have made a fire for a tent cellar and we have made a perfect brand gas blending. And now I'm going to open it here and then you all understand what's going to happen. That it's going to be a lot of blending and then it's going to be a smell. Are you with me? Christa Gieselsson became a living and controversial legend in only a few years. Sen att han gick i bräschen för allting själv och visade att så här, jag är inte rädd, jag, det här är enkelt. Flashover är ju mest kontroversiella vi, vi har va. Därför att när brandgraserna var så feta som de kunde bli, då var det risk för explosion. Och då menade Christo, och han visade också att det här är de här tre sätten. Man kan alltså se på slingorna som brinner i taket, man kan kyla ner dem och man kan ventilera ut dem och klarar man inte det, då går man bra. Det gjorde han, visade själv. I think it's uh, it's pretty amazing that nowadays firefighters still die in indoor firefighting. And at least in some of the location it's pretty obvious it's it's due to a lack of the understanding of fire behavior.